Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have completed our model, our full model, and I have told you that in this video, I will define and also assign load on our model, and after that, we will go for analysis and design. So, if you are new here, you can watch our previous video to understand about full concept. So, you will find about you'll found about almost 30 plus video about state pro version i and series 6 so let's start first of all i'll open state pro and I'll open our previous model. Here is our model, and in this model, we'll click here geometry. So this is the geometry of our model. And if I show you again our three, form of our building. So this is the 3D form of our building. You can see it is the 3d format so now I have done every work for our model now I'll go for as in load so click here load page after that here click on load case details then click here add and from here first time select dead load and give here dead load press add and go for live load live load then press add and also we can add different types of load from here according to requirement that I will use that two load only after that press close and then select on dead load and click here add and from first of all we will select self weight minus y direction minus 1 then press here add after that we will select here plate load or area load floor lo area load floor load plate load surface load we can add from here so click here area load for area load for floor load for plate load you can add from here according to requirement surface load but we'll use here floor load for our floor every floor we'll use floor load so for floor load here is important thing first of all we have to give the load here so it will be global y direction and the value will be minus suppose we'll provide here load 0 0.25 keeps 0 0.25 0 0.5 Suppose we'll give here uh, our dead load. We'll give here dead load. Suppose 60 pound. Then we'll go for keeps. It will be 0 0.06, 0 0.06. And here is the important thing: range. So 
that is we have to select the range I mean from which point to which point we want to ascend this load we want to ascend this load so for different widens so for widens first of all we have to select or minimum depth then maximum height I mean minimum value and maximum value so suppose first of all from that point to that point we will assign floor load that's why we'll click here and from here we can see that property loading sorry we have to select from here the node cursor and we'll double click here so for y axis we're seeing that it's zero so we'll give here no we'll give a minimum distances zero and for maximum close that here is our maximum we select here we're seeing that our maximum is 50 so we'll give here maximum 50 and for y range if we select for y range I mean if we have different pattern then we can select for extends widens for suppose for extends first of all if we select that point for X it's zero and for that point it's maximum X it's 69.33 so here we have to give to zero and here 63 but uh, we'll use that load I mean distance value for irregular shape but as it is a regular shape frame that's why only will give here that two distance and state pro will consider load on everywhere okay so pressure add then it's done for dead load and close that if we click here wait for something wait for some time so here you are seeing that this is showing our load distribution for that but we are seeing that for that portion and that portion it's not for that portion and I mean for our balcony it's do not consider so we have to define in X range first of all for that so again double click here we'll go here or we know our first point was 0 for X range and the last point was 69.333 last point was 69.333 3333 again let's check that 69.333 or last node then click here change then wait for some time after that again we'll select our define Z range so first of all I will select from here for Z it's 0 that part is 0 minimum 0 and the maximum are minus 20.75 minus 20.75 75 close close then click here change uh, maybe I've done some mistake 
here is our z value 0 and that was minus 20 sorry as it is a symmetric shape of building that's why we do not need to give here any value pressure 0 pressure 0 it has it up will automatically calculate that so pressure change so just wait for some time as I'm scanning that's why it's taking some time and oh our load pattern are okay for our floor then close and click here for click at geometry and again go here load paste here dead load and select self wet and we'll provide self wet for our full structure then we'll click here assign to view self wet we'll click on assign to view then assign yes as we have uh, assigned that value it will assign the total load on the structure so as I have screening my PC that's why it's taking some time so after that we'll go for live load then click here add new and click here floor and similarly we'll give her 0 0.1 but it will be minus global y direction and our minimum will be 0 and maximum will be 50 we have seen previously so add it and close that so click here and again it will take some time so let's wait so here is our model so we have assign all load that are required for our building so we have different self load and floor load live load and dead load so press close so after that we'll go for analysis and here we have successfully assigned our load on our model so in our next video I'll show you that how we'll analyze our model and after that we'll go for design yes save so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video